Sonar X3 Studio and Producer contains a suite of 19 Bluetooth Studio effects. Six of them are Dynamics processors, including plugins for compression, gating, limiting, and de-essing. Let's take a look at these six Dynamics effects. The model FA770 from left to right starts with a meter for three different options. The in button shows the amount of level coming into the FA770, the out button shows how much level is leaving the FA770, and the GR button shows how much gain reduction is getting applied to the passing signal. All of Nomad Factory's Dynamics processors have this meter. Next comes the adjustable input knob. After that, there is a threshold adjustment. Moving forward, the FA770 has an adjustable parameter called Time Constant. This setting combines both the attack and release parameters and has 12 different predetermined settings for attack and release. These exact measurements appear in the top right of the plugin, adjacent to the preset picker. Underneath Time Constant are buttons A and B, and these determine the attack mode of the compressor. Under attack mode, A1 and 2 are both fast attack and release times. 3 and 4 have moderately fast attack times, but with very slow release times. 5 and 6 have slow attack times, but fast release times. Under attack mode B, 1 and 2 both have slow attack times and fast release times. 3 and 4 have moderately slow attack times and slow release times. 5 and 6 have very slow attack times and slow release times. The exact measurements can be seen in the top right of the plugin adjacent to the preset picker. Next comes the analog compressor CP2S. This compressor has adjustable threshold, attack, racial, release, and makeup parameters. It also has the option for both peak and RMS types of compression. RMS mode averages the levels of the audio passing through the compressor and applies a smooth and natural amount of gain reduction to the audio. Peak mode responds quickly to bursts of loud volume levels and applies a generous amount of gain reduction. Moving along, we have the Master Limiter LM2S. Limiters have the same duties and functions as a compressor, except they apply stronger gain reduction. This means that their ratio is non-adjustable and probably at a setting much higher than any compressor can go. This makes them perfect for placing on the master bus so that your mix is never clipped. This limiter has variable attack, release, threshold, and output gain knobs, and even has an added 5-band graphic EQ for small adjustments. After this, we move to Brickwall BW2S XP. This is a compressor limiter, and inside the brick wall, there are variable threshold and release parameters. There is no adjustment for the attack because it is fixed in this plugin. The threshold on the brick wall increases the amount gain reduction applied while increasing the output level at the same time. This tends to make quieter background sounds louder and more noticeable. Lastly, the peak remover button keeps the level of the audio passing through the compressor from clipping its own audio track. Within Sonar X3, the peak meter shows that there is negative 0.04 decibels of gain reduction applied when this button is turned on. Next is the logical gate expander. Gates are used to remove the noise floor of a signal, like amp buzz from a distorted guitar track, or unwanted sounds from another instrument recorded in the same vicinity. They have similar controls to a compressor such as attack and threshold, but instead of applying gain reduction, they remove sound altogether. The difference is that a gate expander increases the dynamic range of a signal by making quiet sounds quieter or completely inaudible. The threshold is an adjustable parameter just like the ones found on a compressor. The attack parameter decides how fast the gate should open and begin removing sounds that exceeds the threshold. Hold is an adjustment that lets you control how long the gate should stay open for the non-gated signal. Then by using the DK you can adjust how smooth the gate closes. Range is an adjustment for the gated sounds. This adjusts how audible the unwanted sounds are once the gate closes. They can be completely inaudible or only slightly audible. This parameter is what allows this module to uphold the expander part of its name. Lastly, what makes this gate unique is that it gives you two filter options. These filters allow the user to shape the sound of the signal for the gate to interpret. A gate acts on the sound that it hears for opening and closing. By having the ability to change the incoming sound's tone, the user can customize how the gate reacts to completely different instruments. By selecting the Listen button, you will hear what the gate hears. Next is the de-esser model DS2S. De-essers are used specifically for removing sibilant frequencies from a signal. De-essers work kind of like a compressor. They decrease the dynamic range of a signal. What makes them different is that a de-esser's compression is frequency-based and mainly in the spectrum of where the sounds of S's and T's are most noticeable, hence the name de-esser. This de-esser has a variable threshold, 
sounds exceed the threshold become de-essed. The range parameter on this module allows the user to adjust how much of the signal is de-essed in decibels. The frequency parameter allows for the user to select which frequencies the de-esser is focusing on. Since this is frequency-based, you can switch between the types of filters that the de-esser uses to track the signal. The HPF button is for use of the internal high-pass filter, and the BPF button is for the band pass or notch filter. Finally, a master level allows for the overall output level of the signal. Each of these Nomad Factory plugins come with great presets that can be accessed right from the top of the plugin. Using presets is a great way to get familiar with the plugin before you start using it.